Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and today we'll try to fix this Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite that won't turn on or charge. With the help of Leonardo, this afternoon we'll try to find a solution for this Xiaomi device. Lately we've repaired many Android devices with this issue, so we'll try to fix it quickly. Once the motherboard is out, we'll quickly do a brief inspection. So we remove the shielding and we clean off the thermal paste with a wipe. Then we go to the microscope to inspect the memory and the CPU. It's important to notice in this top corner how the CPU has changed color, it looks a bit burned from the heat. So we'll use the thermal camera for a better analysis. We can observe a specific area heating up. Until I remove the CPU I can't say for sure but I have my suspicions. To easily remove the CPU, we apply a bit of heat and at the same time a bit of flux. If the CPU doesn't have resin, the flux should go right under the circuit. If the CPU has resin, then it needs to be cleaned by applying 200 Celsius degrees with the help of the scalpel or a specific hook-shaped tool. To remove the CPU, I used 380 Celsius degrees and 40% air with no nozzle. The trick is to lever with the help of the flexible tool. In this way, we won't endanger the CPU. As this tool is flexible, it doesn't have the strength to rip the pads of the motherboard. You have to treat the CPU as if there were an integrated circuit. The only difference it is a little bit bigger and can have between 2000 and 3000 solder balls. I want you to pay attention here how, due to the temperature, the balls have changed color, they have practically turned dark grey. Often, in these areas, the balls don't make good contact with the motherboard, so we are going to have a communication problem between the CPU and the motherboard. On the CPU, we can see areas with shiny balls and areas with dark balls. To prepare the CPU for reballing, we apply a bit of low temperature solder and some flux. In this way, we apply less heat to the circuit. We can use 138 Celsius degrees solder paste. This solder is used precisely for this process. I don't recommend it using it for repairs, it's too soft. Now, with the tip of the soldering iron at 300 Celsius degrees, we can go over it. Here is a tip. Don't press on the CPU, just comb over it. What we need is to mix the old solder lid that has lost its properties with the new one. At this point, we need to clean the area with isopropyl alcohol and we can also use contact cleaner. After cleaning, we apply flux again and with a desoldering mesh, we'll make the CPU flat. Just like before, don't press on the circuit, just gently pass over it. Thank you. 
If any bed remains grey, then we can scrape it with the tip of the scalpel or just add a bit of solder paste and go over it with the tip of the soldering iron. The CPU should end up like this, in this way we won't have problems performing a successful repair. The idea is to make it flat. To clean it, I use this tool, it becomes in very handy, I have a few in our workshop. Below in the description of this video, I will leave you the purchase link. With the help of the tool, we can work with small as well as large integrated circuits. Now we go to the microscope to reball the CPU. Lately I've bought more than 150 CPU stencils. In the long run they worth it. My idea is to have 19% of the stencils on the market. Also often you can use compatible stencils and in this way you can save some money. After applying solder paste, we clean the area with a wipe. By the way, this week I just used up to 8000 wipes I had before, so I had to buy another pack of 4000 wipes. And the truth is that they are not exactly cheap, but they are very necessary for me. We continue with our rebelling process. In this step, we apply 300 Celsius degrees and 40% airflow. The temperature and the airflow depends on each air station, the climate, the altitude, and so on. To do our job well, we apply a little bit of flux and we heat it again. In this way, we position all the balls very well. For a successful repair, we need to do each step professionally. We have to work it as if it were our own device. Now, with the help of the microscope, we observe the balls. In this way, all the 2000 or 2500 balls need to be very aligned. In this next step, we are going to clean the surface of the motherboard. Just like before, we apply a little bit of flux, solder wire and, with the help of the soldering iron, we mix the solder. The truth is, on the motherboard we can use any solder. It withstands the temperature very well. If you notice, we always use the same method for the CPU, PMIC, memory, motherboard or any circuit. Once you get the hang of it, the process is repeated over and over again.
Once the cleaning process is done, we apply a thin layer of flux. I recommend using good quality flux for this process. On eBay, you can find large containers of untouched flux. Sometimes you can find even the original one. In the next step, we are placing the CPU. To solder it, I use an air station without a nozzle at 380 Celsius degrees and 30% air flow. I prefer to take it a little longer and do it well. I could even increase the air flow to 50%, but that requires a different technique. Truthfully, there are a thousand ways to do it and for me what matters is the technique, not the temperature and the air flow. On our YouTube channel, we'll try to teach you how to fish, not just give you the fish. If you learn the whole process logically, you've succeeded. You can work with any station and any temperature and any airflow. I'm speaking from my own experience because when I was in China for the first time, the technicians were doing the CPU with $5 air stations right in front of me. So, there is no excuse, if they can do it, so we can. Now we are going to assemble the device and check its correct functioning. We connect the charger and we can see that the device has no battery. Little by little the current consumption starts to rise. It's time to turn on our device. For such a repair, depending on the device range, we charge to our client around 80 euros for a mid-range devices. Here we have it with all the data and settings saved. Guys, he is Leonardo. This was today's video. Thank you for watching us and see you next time. Bye bye.